Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today I just want to show you this camp chair I'm working on. I have to repair it. One of these slipped out. So what I'm going to use today is a drill bit because the right size rivets that I got right here. Let's see what size I'm using. 3 16 by half inch. These are like five bucks at Harbor Freight. And this is uh, like five, six bucks at Harbor Freight. The whole um, riveter, hand riveter, and you get all these, but those are too short. I needed something with a longer grip. That's this dimension right here. So I went and bought this box. But it doesn't, it doesn't fit right now. So I have to drill it out a little. You know, do this at your own risk. You're repairing a camp chair, so hey, it could break, break again, but yeah, I'm going to take my chances with that because I want it fixed. So I'm going to put my drill bit in to widen it out. And I got a, what is this, 3 three sixteenths drill bit. We'll widen that hole out a little bit. There we go. Doesn't take much. Well, looks like I need to go the next size up. And it's okay to step up like that. It's actually better when you're drilling stuff out. So the next size up would be 1364. Let's try that. There we go. Let's see if that fits. Now, I didn't need to drill the plastic part right here too much. It actually fits in that. But it was this metal piece I needed to drill. Now that fits in nice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide it in. We're going to pop that rivet in. Got to like, it's kind of tricky. Not too tricky, but you got to make sure it's aligned. And then you just wiggle it in. Let's see if I can get it in. Might even help to tap it or something. Get in there. All right, hold on. I'm going to pause the video and get some pliers. All right, so instead of pliers... Actually, I'm going to go ahead. Looks like this post isn't going down far enough. So I am going to draw out this plastic piece a little bit. And I'm going to kind of drill it up. While I, while I drill, because that wasn't going down far enough, I'm drilling in that direction. I'm kind of moving the drill like this so I can make this, this hole right here longer. I'll show you when I'm done. All right, there we go. So I did have to drill that out a little bit. Let's see if that works. And you kind of have to twist it sometimes a little bit to get it aligned. And then you wiggle it. There we go. Then you can get some pliers. And actually, if you go through this hole right here on these adjustable pliers, it'll give you, boom, it'll give you something to put that rivet in so you don't lose it. Now it's in there. We'll get a rivet gun. Love Harbor Freight for cheap tools. Haven't had too much of an issue with these. And we'll get our rivet. So you just slide it over there, make sure it's all the way down. And then give it a, give it a couple pulls until it pops off. Let's see. Boom. There we go. Sometimes this thing gets stuck in there. So, hey, look, I got pliers. That's handy. All right, and it's that easy. There you go. Fixed camping chair. So if you got a camping chair where a rivet broke, my suggestion is get that Harbor Freight hand riveter for like five, six bucks. And the right size rivets. And a good drill and a drill bit. And you can fix your camp chairs. All right. Happy camping season. Have a good one. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you want to. I appreciate all you subscribers. At 1,000 subscribers, I think I'm going to do a giveaway or something. But yeah, have a good day. Later.